Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in at an absolute stunning time capsule. I cannot wait to get around here and show you around. The building itself is in a poor state of repair, but the stuff in here is amazing. I cannot wait to get around and show you. You know what to do, give it a thumbs up. It helps us with the algorithm, but let's crack on. Look at the door here. That, oh, yeah, all the paint is just peeling away. Look at this show you up here look at the glass it's just stained green with moss we've got some drain pipe here that's fallen down it's just completely rusted through and you'll see on the front the red brick beautiful just beautiful and again look at that window we'll come in and as you'll see it's very dark in here greeted straight away by the stairs on these stairs you'll see this rope looks like it's holding a rug I think that is a rug it must have gone across the stairs there I have no idea why the carpet is running up the middle I love how it's held in by these little bars don't really see that in modern houses today Bannister, the dust that's on here. Show you inside the wallpaper we've got along here, and the cobwebs and decay on that front door. Come down this blue and red tiling. So, first room, which I would deem to be sitting room, living room. Turn this torch up. Wow, what we got down here? Got some tapes. Tape decks, 80p each. Some torches. I'm not surprised, it's bloody dark in here. Oh, look at this shoe on. I'll show you that. It's beautiful, that is. Got a tape recorder down here. No idea why. A bush cassette recorder. Old radio. Looks like a little walkie talkie more than anything. Ooh, these binoculars cases. Eight piece toolkit here picture of a dog oh, some quite nice little pictures here that one's of an owl birds there even that Ooh. hunter's calendar from 2007 what's this Jewel for the Sky. An RAF book as well. Even got a men's grooming kit there. And look at this. This old watch, quartz watch. You see where it's going all green. Lovely little thing. Ooh, if it focus. What we got here? A nail file kit here. Lovely bit of artwork. Looks like the name Wood at the bottom there. Porcelain chicken. I could say what it is, but <laughs> I'm not going to. Body warmer there. See where a bit of mould and that coming on it. Oh, still in good nick. Love these old light switches. The old power switches. So it looks like we've got a binocular case there again. With some binos. Oh, look at the cobwebs and that on it. It's 
still feels like it's got a bit of weight to it. The stack. See all the dust that's sitting on top. Bad thing. It's like metal. Let me just move this out of the way quickly. You've got that picture there. An echo radio. I just love these. Wave change, medium long. Oh god, it look it all it all turns, it all Oh god, everything still moves, look at that. Got a key down here, but nothing down there. Ashtray, assume uh, they were a smoker. What we got here? I thought that was dirt. It's not. It's probably hanging up at some point. Seats of nobility and gentry. Very nice. What do we have here? Oh, looks like I might have a wedding photo there. What have we got there? Air Wars from 1939 to 45. The letter there. That will be blanked out. Nobody will have the address of this place. But I want the name so we can get some history. Wow, look at these. They are pretty cool. Everybody's Book of Fate and Fortune. Hmm. Here. A few books. Whoa, look at that. Holston and Sons work on domestic economy. Painless dentistry, artificial teeth. That looks like quite an old book, that. Huh? The Portable Atlas. For some reason this looks alright. It's got some old, old bits in. If you look down here, it's actually got a date on it of 1879. It's quite cool. Yeah. I'm gonna go and get a sandwich and I'll come back and meet you. Okay mate. Right. You sound, you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Maps of England and Wales. Oh, it's only half there. What was this? That's pretty cool. Quite impressed by that. Oh, look at this. Another wedding photo. Amazing. Come across, got some more books stacked up there. What are they? The Children's Encyclopedia. Okay. Look at the fire guard there. As far as we come across, got an old photo again of the lovely couple. Satin Tauk. Here, cries of London. Oh, I'll move that across, and as you'll see, got this on here some bandages. What is that? Is that salt? I think that is salt in there. Old some old darts. 
I do put that picture back where we found it. It's fallen to pieces, unfortunately. These old darts, look at them. So that was sort of, would have been a jewellery box, wouldn't it? See the mould coming in here. Lovely little design, though. And we've got down here some walking sticks. Looks like sort of ivory. But beautiful wooden cane, I guess. I'm just going to move this on top of here simply because we have something in this box I don't know what that is unfortunately we shall pop that back ooh that that is a pretty impressive bit of taxidermy there I must say, let me sort of get right round, show you that. Little cupboard down here, more books, a lot of mould and that on them though. So I've got some tinsel down there, some stuff there, is that like a hat box? Shut this up. So I'll show you the decay on this, look at that. More lovely artwork along here. Pheasants. Some horses down here. Someone riding a horse. These are the horses I was on about. Oh wow, I'll have to put this here so. Look at that, beautiful. Again. I love these places, proper, proper old time capsule. And we got the flat cap, I wonder if gentleman that lived here wore it but if I step back just to show you look at that how picturesque is this so we've got a shutter that's covering the window full of cobwebs as you'll see and look at this wow I love that we got here a three in one torch. Got another old radio along here. I wonder if that opens at all. Sort of button on top. Not sure how that works. But got a thermometer down there as well. Turn that round and a barometer. It's not 50 degrees in here, I can promise you that. Sort of down here, we've got some fake plants, and we got the ducks down there with the lamp. I just want to sort of move back again, sort of show you this room. I'm in absolute awe of it. No, as you come down on the floor, you see the rug? It's got that wooden floor in, maybe vinyl. You got this old green rug that's down here. Let's go a little bit further. Looks like an old cabinet there. It's just been left. Oh, I squeeze through. Wow, let's have a look under the stairs. What have we got? 
Wow, loving these old glasses. Whoa, look at that key. Absolutely rusted. Even these old tins rusting through. Little glasses along here. You can see it's turned brown. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. It's probably Megan. Come a bit further in here. See all the dust that's sitting on top of the glasses along here. It's um, a bit weird. Weird shapes. They're all obviously different. Different shapes for different things. Are these dessert dishes, possibly. Not hundred percent sure. Sort of come up here. And again, more of this weird and wonderful range of glasses. What is that? Is that a dog bowl? Possibly. And this jug. Let me move this jug. Get you a better look at that. Great design. Got a few pieces down here. Looks like we've got Dustbuster. Look at that old stool and the cobwebs on it. And the dust. Yes, what is that? Don't know what that's for. And we've got here. Something hanging on the wall with a load of spiders on it. Great. And obviously the coal bucket down there. We'll come back out. So I'm going to go to the kitchen. First thing you're seeing, I'll show you this roof, the ceiling, shall I say. So the plasterboard's coming down. We're at the back door here. We've got this electrical cable. That's sort of come down here. We've got the old light switch. And look at the walls, everything is peeling off. And we come to the sink. Oh, this sink, look at it. It just looks absolutely amazing with all the decay and the rub all around it. The cup and the brush and the soap sitting there. These taps. And these curtains. Look. Oh, literally everything. That bit of wood there just fell down from the top here. I imagine that would have been a pot for plants. But look at that. Got a gun cabinet here, which is very sealed up, <laughs> shall we say. Again, look, uh, got the firewood down here with the shovel, which I'd imagine would have been for this auger. Love how the teapot's still. A teapot? Tea towel, tea towel. Still hanging there. All birds. Makes sense. We've seen a taxidermy pheasant. They're very into their birds and flying. Just loving. How this stuff is rusted. Little pots here. A tea strainer. Possibly. Even these bars here, look. These bars, they're all rusting through. Got a couple of cupboards along here. Looks like where the electric meter is. Fuse board at the top there. Come down, we got, got a heater. Haven't seen any central heating at the moment. Wow, we've got some old walking sticks down here. It's a beauty. And look at this one. That one. They like their walking sticks and their birds. And you'll see, as you come here, Looks so like we've got a kingfisher, a 
duck and a goose possibly tucked away in this little corner of the pots and pans ah look at that that is a hand crafted duck missing the beak that sits on top of that candle there wow and these little teddy candles is that open it does we have nothing inside though a great little design there a few trinket pieces along the top there what would have been a light hmm but down here old box here part of me wants to think that, that might have been a cigar box or something along that lines saw wow look at this the world of guns We've got a helicopter Aeroplane books. Definitely into their flying, weren't they? As you come down here, the old vacuum. Hoover. Another radio down there. What's this? Birds in art. working gloves We've got a bit of a modern day radio and another one got some big batteries along here as well what is that I don't know what that would be for Sit, sits on top of some sort of baking to keep it warm possibly got the ducks there and again We've got another taxidermy bird. Looks like it's gone a bit wrong though, if I'm honest. We've got the kettle, toaster and tea dispenser along here. And these old switches. And we've got the clock. Let's have a look down here. If it opens, it might not open. Ah, so we'll set stairs, another set. But just to show you that that's the back door there. So it is quite dangerous. Uh, come through this way. So this is what's underneath the stairs, not a lot. Looks like the nails have started to sort of rust through the, the wood though. As you'll see, them orange stains. And I'm <clears throat> into a bit of a collapsed room here. We've got some drawers, some more wooden canes down here. That old tube TV. And as you'll see, the ceiling's starting to come down. Thankfully that is holding it up right now. Old set of drawers there. Let's have a look what we've got in this cupboard. What is that? I have no idea what that is. A little shoe. Some sort of tonic there. Those are cobwebs. Don't know what that is. Maybe straighteners. Come down. Got a few more bits and bobs in there. Looks like egg cups. Possibly some more tonic there. Again, are they egg cups? A few smash pieces, unfortunately. That's going to happen. Yeah. Right? just the way it goes some pieces aren't going to make it looks like we've got like another sort of little pantry area there what is that Farah's quality fashioned humbug 
again though, look at this. Must have been a little storage area that the ceilings come through. We'll get out of this bit. I've got one more room down here. I've got one more room. Wow. And we'll come in to another sort of seating room. So I'll give you the once over and I guess we'll delve into it. We start here with the piano. Wow, look at this. The keys have actually got cracked, they're seized. The black ones aren't, but not getting any sound out of it. CB, I can't say it. But that beautiful piano. Shame the mould has got onto it. Tart and cushioned insoles. They went to war. Well, I've got a few bits and pops down here. So I've got handbag, cushion, some wallpaper, loads of batteries. Wow, these are Type D ones. I don't know, they're big though. <laughs> Little gnome there. Again, battened up the windows. Got fire guard down there. This old TV. And Mc McMichael. Wow. Oh, cool, look at that. Like a poker in the shape of a sword. And this, look at that. God, looks like something Michael Myers would have used in Halloween films or something. And you'll see fake flowers down there. Got another clock. And look at this. I believe someone told me this is trench art. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see it's a bullet. And then that bullet, the top, has been cut. And looks like a blade coming out of it. And we got here, lovely little fox. It's quite setting, my last name's Fox. And what I didn't show you was the speakers sitting up here in the top corners of the room. And I wanted to show you these doors because they are bowed and warping in. Look how bowed that is along here. And again, look at that one there. So I think we we'll start at the top here. You see like this curtain rail up the stairs. This is that rug that's held in by the rope there. And also if you look at the top here, it looks like a little window. But I don't think it is, but we'll find out. First thing you, when you come up here there, got this white rug. Sort of like, reminds me a bit of like an animal rug. You got this switch down there, obviously for the hoovering. We'll start in this room. And the flooring is a bit dodgy in here, guys. So I do apologize. I might not make it as far as I want to make it. As you'll see, it's very water damaged. There's buckets here, filled with water. And you'll see why, because in the ceiling, we have big holes. But we've got a dresser there with a mirror. Sort of pan across. And pink curtains. We've got a wardrobe along there. We've got a fireplace as well at the top. Looks like a bean bag and an old mattress along here. The door here is locked. But no worries, we can get through to it the other side going to come into what I can assume is the main bedroom. 
Look at these. Christmas snow globes. Wow. We've got a rug, a bit of rug down here. But as you'll see again, if I move that, we've got canes and brushes. Is that like a little resting seat? Is that a bit that like, foot folds out and people sit on it? Possibly. Let's chuck this, uh, not chuck it, but move it across. Got an old grooming set there. Look at the dust and mold on that. Wow. I do love that. Oh, I've got to get these out. Right here, kingfishers. I tell you, animals and aeroplanes seem to be the thing. This dog. Wow, it's just beautiful. I'm gonna pop these on top of the rug. If I pop them on top of the rug, and they shouldn't fall off. It's gotta be worth a look. Got their horse. Some ducks along here. Definitely bird enthusiasts. Oh, just heard the door go. Must be still windy outside. It's actually quite, don't feel creeped out here on your own, I must say. You don't get this eerie vibe. Otter, sort of get like a peaceful vibe if I'm honest. Looks like cross stitch. Got there, Robin. Some goats. Oh my god, these pictures are never ending. The final one, ducks by a river. Come across. Down here we've got dartboard. Wow, look at these lanterns. They must be really old. There's so much dust in the game. To think, these are never going to be used again. The old trolley dolly there. Got the mirror across here. It's even got a clock on. The floor, the floor does feel okay. So I don't feel too bad coming across this one. The old glass that would have covered the candles. That went in there. Have we got anything in this wardrobe? No. But. We have an old rusted key there. Look at this press. It would have been used for drying the clothes. Star. Showing the furniture is on the bed because the bed is made, but. Wow, the chairs. Got some garden chairs along here, you know. Beach chairs as well. Served with honour and was disabled in the Great War. Honourably discharged. George RJ it says on there. So this is a bit that's behind the stairs. You know that little window piece. This is what's behind it. I can't fit in it. But, uh, you'll see. There, look at that loft hatch. How small is that? It'll be small to fit up there. Got the stairs there though to get up. We don't need to go in the loft. Right, so we're coming in through this door here. Wow, okay. So, we've got the stairs down there. And look at that, you can see all the brickwork. 
it's just gone man here the wallpaper insulated with newspaper as well so this is the room that is downstairs that is falling through and as you'll see we've got a bed there a chair and that ceiling has just come down and as we take a right we come into our final room we've got a bit of damage down here in the corner but we'll be careful we'll stay away from it and I think that it's pretty obvious the person who lived here loved their canes look we've got another animal one there a duck this is amazing I don't think we've got anything in here with old newspaper though it's lined with old newspaper well, that top one was anyway got old Santa bits there I did knock this down, cedarwood aftershave. We come up here, we've got old radio, that Airbus there. Wow, look at this. Belt. And look at that tin. Great design. Come across to the bed, got some imperial leather along here. Oh, look at that. Does it open? It does. We try it again. I'm going to put this down for two seconds. Just so. God, no. Nah. Sorry guys, that's rusted through, but I love the key fits in there, look at these. The old aeroplane and radios. I just love it. What is that? That looks like a gun carrier. Could be wrong. If you know, please let me know. And this pigeons, plastic pigeons. Hmm. Bit confused there. Got the old water tank system there. Even a tap down there as well. The old chairs. Looks like another painting down there with some pots, a nest, and another bean bag. Let's just have a quick look through here. Oh look at that. Got the jacket there. We didn't have a look in here actually. Oh. Now, well, that would have been a treat to miss, wouldn't it? Some aftershaves, belts. Looks like we've got some newspapers and magazines down there. Oh, right. Back outside, guys. Um, that is the explore done. I'm not going to go outside. There's nothing really here, as you'll see behind me, possibly. But, uh, yeah, I mean, quite a long explore but worth it going through a lot of the pictures there but i hope you enjoyed it if you did thumbs up subscribe catch you on the next one hope you're happy